Hello boys and girls and welcome to Stories and Songs. I'm here in the Noah's Ark conference room with you today at Our Savior's Lutheran Church. My name is Lisa and I'm here to tell you today um, the story of the rich man and Lazarus. Uh, this story is a parable which means that it didn't really happen but it sounds like it really could have happened um, because of the way that Jesus uses these images as he talks in his story and he makes the people learn a lesson and believe what he says during these parables. So Jesus told this parable in the presence of Pharisees. And who are those Pharisees? Those were people who worked in the temple, men who worked in the temple, and they were the rule followers. They were making sure that everybody were, uh, was following the rules of the law that was in the um, Old Testament, the Torah, which was their Bible. So Jesus told this parable in the presence of Pharisees, and he called those Pharisees lovers of money. The Pharisees were listening closely to Jesus and his teachings because they were trying to find a way that they could have him arrested. They were trying to get rid of Jesus. So he tells this story. There was a rich man who lived in luxury with the finest clothes, the best food, and all of the comforts that were available to him. Outside of his gate lay a poor man named Lazarus, who was covered with sores. He was very sick with this disease called leprosy, and it was a very bad sickness. It made you feel very sick. You had sores all over your skin, and people stayed away from you because they could catch leprosy from you if they got too close. And so people would stay away from those people that were called lepers, the people who were sick with leprosy. Lazarus was so hungry that he would gladly have eaten the crumbs that fell from the rich man's table, but he was not even offered the crumbs. In time, both of these men died. Lazarus went to heaven to be with Abraham, who was that guy way way back in the Old Testament. He was in heaven and he was the ancestor of the Jewish people. The rich man found himself tormented in hell. He called out to Abraham saying, have pity on me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue because I am in agony in this fire. But Abraham explained that this was not possible. The rich man had received good things in his lifetime, while bad things had been happening to Lazarus. And Lazarus was now being comforted in heaven, in a good place, and the rich man was in misery, in a bad place. Besides, Abraham said, there is a great chasm, it's a big word, but it means like a physical barrier, like a canyon. So there was this great separation between them. And the rich man was on one side and the Lazarus was on the other side and no one could go back and forth in either direction. The rich man could not cross the chasm and get to heaven. Lazarus could not cross the chasm and go help the rich man in hell. The rich man then begged Lazarus, or begged Abraham, excuse me, he begged Abraham to send Lazarus to warn his five brothers so that they would not end up in hell like he was. Abraham's answer was, the rich man's brothers had a warning in the scripture and they should read it and listen to it and believe it and do what it says. The rich man argued that if someone would return from the dead, like Lazarus, 
and go speak to his brothers, they surely would be impressed enough to hear the words and repent. But Abraham replied that if they don't listen to the scriptures and don't believe them, they still won't be convinced, even if someone returns and visits them from the dead. Jesus was using this parable to teach a lesson to the Pharisees. This lesson is still important for us today. There are many people in our world who were like, who are like Lazarus. They are poor, they are hungry, they're sick, they're alone or homeless. They are people who need our help. We have abundance, enough to share, more than enough to go around. And we could share with those people who don't have what they need. So we are like the rich man and we are called to share what we have with people who were like that poor man Lazarus in the story. Now, boys and girls, thanks for sharing this story with me today. I would like you to stay tuned to the songs portion of our tape because we are going to learn a song called, We Are Called. We are called to help those people who don't have what they need out of our abundance. We have more than we need. Stay tuned. See ya. Bye. Hi again, boys and girls. Thanks for staying with us for the songs portion of our video. We're here in the Noah's Ark conference room. You can see Noah's Ark behind me at Our Savior's Lutheran Church in Faribault, and we're ready to do some singing. We're going to do our Lenten song, Come Join the Journey of Jesus Today. And it goes like this, you know it, here we go. Come. Thing I like about this song is 
I sing, we are called, and you respond with the same thing until we get to by the holy name. This is where we sing together. Pastor Jeff is here with me, and we are going to sing <clears throat> so that you guys can learn this. So, let me get a note. Sorry. All right. <clears throat> Starts like this. We are called. We are called. We are claimed. We are claimed. We are loved. We are loved by, by the, the holy name. name. Let's do that again. It's really easy because these three are the same, and then just you have to learn this kind of going down the steps. Here we go. We are called. We are called. We are claimed. We are claimed. We are loved. We are loved by the holy name. Good. Now we do the same thing. We are healed. We are healed. We are whole. We are whole. Now this part is all together, so we'll sing it, and then we'll have you sing it with us. The, the Savior ransomed, ransomed our souls, and, and we're singing. singing. Okay, so let's do the Savior together. The, the Savior ransomed, ransomed our souls, and, and we're singing. singing. You hear Pastor Jeff going up, and I'm saying the same. We haven't oh. practiced this, so <laughs> I think it's the same. <clears throat> now listen, glory, we sing three times, so glory, 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 hallelujah. You sing it with me. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Glory, glory, oh. You have to shake and wiggle a lot. Oh, oh. sing it with me. Glory, glory, oh. Then we do this again. Glory, 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 hallelujah. You sing it. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Glory, glory, ah. You sing it. Glory, glory, ah. All right. Here we go from the very top, verse one. Everything together. No stopping. Here we go. We are called. We are called. We are claimed. We are claimed. We are we are loved by the holy name. We are healed. We are healed. We are whole. We are whole. The Savior ransomed our souls. And we're singing glory, 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 hallelujah. Glory, glory, oh, glory, 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 hallelujah. Glory, glory, Now, here are the words. We are here to proclaim God is here. That's what we are telling everybody, that God is here with us in the world. Calls us each by name. God calls us, he knows our names, to do his work for us. So that's what we're here to do. We are here to give praise. The love of God will not change. Those are little coins. That's your change in your pocket. And we're singing. And then we go back and do the glory, glory. So I'm going to sing. And you follow with Pastor Jeff. Here we go. We are here. We are here. To proclaim. To proclaim. God is here. God is here. Calls, calls us each by name. We are here. We are here. To give praise. To give praise. And together. The, the love of God will not change. change. And, and we're singing. singing glory, 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 hallelujah. Glory, glory, oh, glory, 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 hallelujah, glory, glory, Okay, now, I would like to do it one time with the piano. I love doing things with the piano, and I just wish that I could hear you singing. So we're going to do this. Oh, I better get in the right key. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, 
Now, to close with, boys and girls, we're going to do our whole song about children go where I send you. Actually, we're, we're not going to do the whole thing. We're going to start by singing. I'm going to send the 10 by 10. And then we're going to go backwards through the whole thing and see if we can do that. Boy, my memory is really tested on this one. So uh, it goes like this. Ready? Children, you go where I send me.